if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Why am I here then? Okay, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, thank goodness. No, I was <laughs> in the field. Is it because everyone else is dead? In the demo we played, we rescued one dude. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is oh, I reached the camp. Hello, Andrew Bot. Andrew Bot. Andrew Bot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Andrew Bot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Damn. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to door. voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh, uh, maybe if I... RT, default position. His name's RT. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Um. Yeah, we've already done that. Anything around the back? Let's go in here. <gasps> Person. Hello. Where's your helmet off? Dr. Crowter. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? Doctor, please. Look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Excuse me. Yasta, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Oh. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. I can plug that to my own, right? Yes, okay. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. I don't but like it, point, though. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. He's got the space madness. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor. But it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of the disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests and focal plane tomography of his brain. Otherwise, Ow. I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay, what should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. Is we have you? three more people to find. 
still need to designate a place for the landing. Yeah, I've got I've got to get out of this place. He is unsettling Hello? at best. A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowter. That's out. Maybe it's in here. Okay, that looks like a mission log. It's not a mission log. Okay. Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory, a giant nickel-iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis 3, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of structures contradicts it. But it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Um. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. Followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Did we not get to talk about the structures? I guess we didn't get to talk. Can we talk about the structures? Okay, we're just looking at the structures. Cool. That's not disturbing in any way. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. wrong with the connection sir it's not working i'm not sure why there's a relay transmitter in the camp so the signal should be strong enough a relay huh yes no what are you up to one sec i'm looking for it copy that i'm i'm not though i'm looking at this particular fish you're gonna make them wait if the androbot isn't working properly i can't just leave krauter like this he might hurt himself uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. No, Vic. I'm gonna get. I'm getting really pissed off with you, mate. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Doctor Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Doctor Yasna at the radio. And Lovick? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. Please spare me these lamentations. The only thing I can do is walk along the Dragonfly Corridor. Uh, you're not missing out on everything, Yasna. Crackling suits, thick gloves, oh, debris hitting the helmet's glass. I love Koval. But the beach is like the one at home, right? Uh, uh, almost. We have 
to examine the composition of the ocean up there. Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Koval, where are you going? Over. Probe in the water. A little rub. Switching to manual. Oh, a quick wrecky. Oh, no. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Space, are you there? A recce. 300. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... I'm so nervous. Zoe, what are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I'm talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the probe. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yasna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they already seen probes. I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. Okay, we've attacked the life on the planet. We've attacked the life on the planet, just for noting. That's definitely what we've just done, is attacked the life on the planet. Cool. That seems like a per perfectly reasonable thing that we would do. got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Uh, no luck. Oh, they're not in here. What is in here? We'll close it. We'll move north to the water too. I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling optimistic for the guy that I really not like. Either. I swear game, if this game jump scares me, I'm going to be very upset. They look like spare relays. I have the extra relay. Signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Where's a good spot? This seems like a good spot where it's telling me to go. We we're all hoping for it. Absolutely not. How dare you? Okay. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. And that should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, it worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Looks Have like a must play for sci fi fans. Changed. Um. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. 
Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. Okay. That's an order. Yes, sir. Okay, we're at camp. Maybe we just start going up here. Oh, God. This looks like a big map. Oh, first little bit of... When it gets really quiet, I get super nervous. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Okay. Tracker. Silent. By the way, wh what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? Hello? No, I don't know. Unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Well, can I get... Can I just get down? Not this way. What are you? Oh, hello. I'm following the signal. That looks like science to you. Astute, my love, astute. on the ground oh god it's a journal it's a journal yes thank you yes <laughs> geological cross-section measurements here's a merit's notes we must focus on both water chemistry testing and geological digging <gasps> she must be somewhere close please search the entire area thoroughly Layers of sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance. Not geological, not planetary. Millions of years old at least. Cosmo Solidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division Solar System. Dear Dr. Marit, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition Obelisk 03 as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove towards your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you're back from your current mission. Sincerely, General Perksard. Commanding Officer Space Division. Space Division! Okay. I think I know where I can find her. Oh, God. I think she's gonna be... dead. Oh, it's her backpack. It's just her backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. 
Yep, you can see her. She's here. I found her. Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No vital Thanks functions. Here. What's going I need on? Two. One. Two. Three. Come on. Everything will be fine. All fine. Hello, gods. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. I mean, I know how I said I wish she was going to be dead. I know how I said it. I know I was very much like, oh, yeah, she did. It is going to be one of those games, Dior. It definitely is going to be one of these games. Hi, not me, mister. It's lovely to have you here. Um... Thank you so much for that continued support, you lovely bean. And as it is stars. Oh. Got right in this, got right in the fields already. Got right in the fields already. Holy nuts. Okay, it's definitely gonna. It's that de it's definitely he it, it, <sighs> That's her. That's her backpack. Do you think Oh god there he is. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find the doctor alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Okay, we can't get up here. Maybe it is underneath. Ah. Uh. Or around, around this way. I really need to not find this other person dead remember how i said right early on oh i really like this one was it Koval? Oh, i don't know the amount of volume of background music during the entire i didn't even notice anything like that oh god yasna status yasna he's He's... Koval? Don't do this to me. Not... Oh. You're alive! Did you hear that, sir? Koval's alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Um... Parameters normal, <coughs> yet he's completely unresponsive. What? Thank you so much. Kovel, Kovel, his eyes are so empty, just like Crouch's. Kovel, what the hell is wrong with you? 
Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crowder's? He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Cobble on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. Oh, tits, M my guy. It's everywhere. <sighs> in pieces. <sighs> Not Gustin. Cobble was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly Can we read why it? it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them, but it may take a while. Huh. There's life on this planet after all. Them? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. The structures branch underground. G checks the right branch. Massive vertical exhibit. It produces above the surface. Water tank. Underground structures. The biggest one yet. Inside hill, 150 meters flagged. Visible from point four. Azimuth, 350. Distance, 200. Found them. Visceral. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G, but the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Got him. The Androbot with Crowder is also on its way to the site. You'll need short. The oh. land is already descending. What's on me? Led to all this. Crowther, not the American. Now Cobble, an unprecedented degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. Is Yasna okay? On the other hand, how could it be? There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest. Science caused it. But I'm afraid it's our own fault. It was going so well before. We hadn't even considered the possibility of failure. Started digging right away. Taking samples. Not even trying to avoid potential threats. Koval was alone. Out of the signal's reach. Dr. Gorski wandered even further away. On his own. And Merritt. She... Yes, now. You there? Yeah, sorry. I lost track of my thoughts. Don't even know what I wanted to say anymore. Oh, that happens to all of us. Don't worry. I see you up there. Only Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the land. He's going to tell but me yeah, no. Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Yeah, okay. I get it. I definitely would do the same. Yeah, they definitely mean coordinates with Azimuth, because Azimuth is like a peak, isn't it? Yeah, I just have a visceral reaction. There's only there's certain words that I have visceral reactions to nowadays. <laughs> One of those is Azimuth. Um, salvation is another word that I have to take a moment. Um, 
And also absolute now. You can use Savlon anymore. I love that. Yes, now focus. What now? We're getting Marit's body. Shit, mate. So Pretty shit. Managing. I'm carrying a dead body. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. I'm ready. <sighs> ready? Well, I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. My Winter Soldier style wake word. Finery. Finery. <sighs> served with Dr. Marit for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore. Really? Not entirely. Marit will be awarded posthumously. Yeah, well, what, what good is that? It makes no sense, Astrogator. Marit didn't care about titles. She just wanted to pave the way for others. And it's too late for that. Uh, maybe. Maybe the astronauts have been infected with the, um... Capos, nah. Nah. Things can survive separately from each other. It doesn't matter. It, the only thing that matters is that it's in my brain always. I have brain rot for so many different things nowadays. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Mm.